Hey guys, it's me, and I'm back with another new game. Uh, obviously, the humble choice for July is out. Uh, I did a video on that a little bit earlier, and um, <clears throat> this is one of the games on it. It looked rather interesting. Uh, Deadly Days. So I figured, you know what? Why don't I go ahead and load it up? I'll partake and share and maybe you'll tell me what you think. Maybe you'll play it yourself with the new humble choice. So, let's see. It's very interesting. I like the, the music so far. It's, it's kind of interesting. Okay, so they're creating radioactive cows and then putting bread on them? And then... Oh, they're immediately turning them into hamburgers just from cows and radiation and bread. And that's how I guess they're making the zombies? Sounds like I should be doing like a little cowboy ditty. The art style is kind of interesting. Very uh, simple. It's kind of funny. Oh, I am tired today. Did not want to get out of bed at all. All right, there the, there's the guy initially going zombified from the hamburger joint. Wow, there's a lot of people in that restaurant. A lot of people in that restaurant. Somebody should have called the fire marshal because there's way too many people in that small little restaurant. Welcome to the tutorial. I am your zombie teacher. Yeah, you can see his his brain just sitting out. Uh, Deadly Days is a strategic zombie survival roguelite. I will teach you everything you need to know. The ultimate goal is to find the burger factory and prevent the creation of new zombies by shutting down the factory. Here you can see the current day. The game gets harder the more the apocalypse approaches. The danger level tells you how strong the zombies currently are. It will increase every few days. Uh, each survivor needs one food at the end of the day, otherwise they will starve. You will start with two survivors, but more can join you during the game. Um, every survivor has their own ability. This ability gets better when the character levels up. Now, uh, For now, we need to find more weapons and food. Let's start a mission. Okay, so we've got size. Loot is small. We're gonna go. Yeah, I think we're gonna go this way. Um, because we've got more, uh, more loot. All right. Use W A S and D to move the camera. Use uh, left mouse click to send your survivors to an area. Uh, <laughs> use left mouse click on sparkling objects to have a survivor loot it. Oh, uh, here are the objectives for today to be sure to, to complete them all. Loot an air airdrop crate, rescue a survivor, loot an apple tree, destroy five trees with airstrikes. I don't know how to do that. Okay, that must be the airdrop. Oh, there's a survivor. Oh, 
Oh. Use one to launch an air strike at a specified location. Try it out on the trees. Now start the bus. Move all your survivors to the bus to finish the day. Well, I guess that was it. Okay, so I mean, that I didn't have any danger here, but I got, you know, everything happened. And I have a banana man. A banana man. Okay. Tutorial day done. And I guess this is our little hangout. Uh, good thing you found some more food. To feed your survivors, be sure to keep a good supply. Use right click to spend one food to immediately level up the selected uh, survivor. Looks like you also found some scrap. You can use it for many things like upgrading and repairing. I've given you some more so you don't have to worry about it at the moment. Here you can equip new special powers. Equipped special powers can be used once a day. I think we found one. Try equipping it now. Freeze gas. You can unlock more slots with scrap later. Uh, here you can equip new items. These have different effect, passive effects on your game. I think we found one. Try equipping it now. Shooting target. Okay. Powers as well as items can be upgraded with scrap. We found some new weapons too. Try equipping one now. Oh, I got a... And now that we are better, try, better prepared, let's try something dangerous. Banana's got an AK-47? Jeez. That needs... Okay, so let's go do this first and then we'll worry about it. Okay, he wants me to go to the burger place here, but why don't I go to this one? Because this one has more loot. Always go for more loot. Always. Alright, let's see what we're doing here now. Huh. Hold control to command your survivor to shoot at the specified position. Destroy the car barricades. Okay. Hold uh, left mouse click to have survivors walk towards the specified position. Use this for more precise control. Okay, so they auto shoot. Um, use E to activate the special power to help you deal with zombies. I don't think I really need to just yet. Okay, well it's not letting me use E. There we go. One of your survivors is injured. Press 2 to heal a survivor at a specialized location. Okay. Oh, so space pauses. I haven't found any places to loot yet. Oh, you found a burger shop. These give map pieces when destroyed. Collect enough of these to reveal the location of the final mission, the Burger Factory. One map piece. All right. All right, so yeah, we're going to have to go around this way. Getting this. Oh, I 
heal two injured survivors. Oh, okay. All right, almost. Uh, it's almost night time, so be careful, zombies, because they're getting stronger. It's best not to stay too long. We should get back to the bus quickly. Did I get all the the uh, all the lootable items? Mm -hmm, let's hope so. Oh, we got stopped. Oh no, the bus is broken down on the main road. Looks like this is the end of the tutorial. I don't think they will survive the night. Luckily, the bus won't break down like this in the normal game. Oh, okay, these were just tutorial people. And now they die. Luckily, this is a roguelite dying as part of the game. Let's see if you've unlocked something new. All right. Uh, in loving memory, Johnny Albrecht always spoke to the bus driver. Stephen Blumenthal failed horribly. And Banana Banana, awesome name, by the way, probably tasted horrible. Nice. Oh, and now I start off with a shopping basket. Airstrikes drop one additional bomb randomly in the area. That's okay. Look, dude, I'm in. Like, I'm already in. A nice progression system with the roguelite. Trying to go and keep doing it. Oh, there are daily challenges, too. So we've got... Uh, your survivors lose one HP when you pick up scrap. Only legendary weapons. Explosive end. Each survivor... Uh, activates a nuke if they die. A uh, new challenge every day that is the same for everyone. How many points can you get? No, I just want to play the regular game. There's an encyclopedia that talks about the weapons and the people. Items and powers I have to unlock. Here are the survivors. Murderer! Oh, these are the survivor traits. Banana Man. And here are the zombies. Oh wow, look at these big guys. Horribly big guys. And these are the achievements, I guess. Okay. Well, um, how do I go back? Oh, it's down here. All right, let's try a brand new game since we already know. Now we start your first proper run. You need to select a specialization. Uh, each specialization features unique unlocks and even some passive bonuses. Okay, well there's um, warfare specialization, scavenging specialization, research, and then I have to win the game to get another one. Uh, so warfare gives me a starting item, which is the, the shooting target, and a starting power, which is all survivors' damage will be doubled. Okay? Scavenge, though, I get speed boost, which makes them run faster, and a copy machine. Each day, you have a small chance to duplicate your highest rarity weapon, except legendary. Okay. And research gives me coffee, increases length of day, and starting power is map-wide heal. Ah, and it also unlocks medbay and news, and that's the revolver. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I think I'm going to go one more on the Warfare, and then I might switch. Uh, I, you know what? No, I'm going to go with uh, Research. And this one gets you Sick Bed, Auto Shotgun, Time Stop, Astronaut. Okay. Yeah, let's go with uh, Research. And then I'll switch up and do one of the others. But so far, I'm like, I'm in, dude. Okay. We've got Kevin Nouth, he's a level one tough with a knife. And we've got Corey Walker, a level one weapons expert with a pistol. Um, let's see what we, why do we have, oh, that must be a zombie that's in a cage over there. Heh, <laughs> banana. Okay, so we got a couple of, um, oh wow, that's got a lot of loot. Rare treasure zombie was spotted. What could he have? Man, both of these are really good. 
Let's go this one, because I'd like to see what the, um, what a rare treasure zombie is. Alright, we're gonna go this way first. Oh! I probably should have waited. Until I had another gun. Yeah, I probably should have definitely waited until I had another gun. Because the danger isn't too big, it looks like, but it, I won't be able to actually hit that treasure zombie unless I get more, um... I wanted the other guy to do that. Not my knife guy. Maybe I need to go over there and use an airstrike. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Let's go around this way. We don't want... Oh, it might argue. I don't... Okay. So, yeah. We're, um... Already nighttime. More dangerous zombies now. Again, it's a roguelike, so I chose the wrong pathway. With a culinary delight. Okay, maybe I should not have gone after... Um, okay, we're gonna go this route this time. Okay, so rare treasure zombie, stay away from until I have guns that can hit it. Okay, weapons expert for range damage, armor expert. Okay, so he's the one that needs the gun. Um, a forklift is spotted in the area. Let's go here. Okay, so... Blew up a car, it looks like. Come on, loot it up. Another loot over there, so let's do that. Oh. 
Okay, so yeah, I cannot stay at night. I got completely trashed. So we're gonna go ahead and start the engine and head back for now. So that's the reason why that coffee one is probably so important. Um, because it keeps the, you know, the day alive. That's not too bad. Okay, well you need... I'm gonna go ahead and repair that weapon. I'm gonna go ahead and repair that weapon. So we're gonna give you that. We're gonna give you that. So now you both have something really good with. Um, I don't have any more there. another mission. Oh, there's a hospital. It's got a pretty big size. Oh, found an airdrop, though. Let's go for an airdrop. Higher danger level, but might have something really useful. And the size is not really that big. Yeah, the gun is, this gun's actually a lot better than this one. Okay, well, there's nothing over that way, so let's head over this way. that airdrop. Oh, I can loot the store sign. How come that wasn't fully looted? Oh, there's the... Alright, so we got a new weapon. Alright, so we have got to go... Can we, like... We can pause it, but I can't, like, bring up a map. But it looks like I may have gotten everything. Nobody really got uh, severely hurt either, so that's always a good thing. <clears throat> that was probably a good run right there. Uh, used to upgrade special custom weapons and build rooms at the base. I got a katana, a sledgehammer, a different pistol, and a spear, but, but dude, it's, oh, okay, so the, these pistols do a lot more damage. So the pistol in itself does more damage, but the Uzi does a high attack speed, which makes it better. Oh, okay, I can sell these things. Confirm to sell the knife. Confirm to sell the pistol, because the Uzi's better than the pistols. I think I'm going to go ahead and repair that. That's 35.6. I'm going to go ahead and sell the spear.
Plata. Oh, I need 90 scrap for that one. And this one I only need 40. I don't really have any other. So give me that. Uh, notch back all enemies near impact point in two radius. Oh, that's pretty good. Um, this guy's the armor expert, so why don't I go ahead and have him use that? This guy's a uh, weapons expert, so he has increased range damage. I need more survivors. That's what I need. Okay. Well, uh, let's uh, go on the next mission. An old bus was seen here. That's a rescue. Let's go for the old bus. I don't know exactly what it's going to bring us, but we can, you know, keep going for a little bit longer. bus. Got an AK-47. It's already nighttime. That really kind of sucks. I gotta find the bus. Where was the bus at? Oh, the bus is over there. Okay, I don't think I um, got all the loot there, but I did find that bus. Which got me an AK-47, which is obviously awesome. One food a piece is gonna level us up. We've got a broken AK-47, which yes, is much higher. I'm gonna go ahead and change. So it's a level four knife. Take that one. Yeah, I'll go ahead and sell that. The blues are a little bit higher, so it's more of a rare weapon. Okay. Let's go ahead and do that. I don't have any other powers. Or any other items, but hey, there we go. Now I have that. Okay. Um, let's go on to the next one. I need another... There is still a rescue here. Let's go to this one here. Let's go to the, the forklift. I have no idea what that means, but we're going to go try it out. Oh, well, it's immediately right there. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Just gives us. Um... Okay, so I can't go any further that way. It's all down and to the left. Katana is actually really good for this armor master guy. Oh, what? Oh, I, okay. Yeah, this is the hospital. Oh, he does a lot of damage with that. Oh wow, so that takes a long time. I mean, he's doing a good job by himself. He's got like increased armor, so he doesn't take as much damage. Oh, but those zombie dogs, when they start coming out, it's it's harsh. Okay, now, uh, the bus was over there, so I'm going to come back up around. Maybe I can do it. Nice, he leveled up. There's one more car that I haven't been able to find that I can loot. Oh, well, damn it. My other guy died, and both of them died. Whoops. I did pretty good, though. Watch too many zombie movies. Just wanted a normal life. All right. So that's a pretty good little roguelike. So we got the revolver. And then we've got the orbital laser. It's a new power. Next up, we get Spike Dyson. I guess he's a character that we can get at the very beginning. All right, guys, that is going to be it for this one. Um, this is a very fantastic game. Deadly Days. I really kind of enjoyed it. Um, I I will probably play a lot more of this. Really? I got a sniper rifle and I... I probably got that out of the hospital, didn't I? Yeah. Okay. Energy reserves. Okay, yeah. Armor expert... Weapons expert plus five percent. Tough damage gets nearby. Zombies. Ugh. Okay, I'll probably play a little bit of this on my own, or maybe just go lay down because I am extremely exhausted. But fantastic game. More to come of other stuff. And you know what? Until the next video, be kind to each other. I'll see you next time.